Praise the Lord. Welcome again, everybody, by way of internet. We're here having church, being blessed. We want to be a blessing to you as well. Thank you for watching us, and we appreciate all the comments and the views that we're getting, and we thank God for it. May he get the glory, the honor, and the praise. So today we want to talk to you and minister to you, but first we want to continue to pray for all those that are hurting or in need for any reason. Amen. Once you know that God is for you, not against you, praise the Lord. I want you to know that. I don't care what the devil tries to whisper in your ear or tell you otherwise. The Lord's still on the throne. He's in control. He knows everything. He knows who you are, where you are, what you're doing right now. Every hair on your head is numbered. Not even a little sparrow can fall to the ground without his knowledge. So how much more? He said you are worth more, so much more than many sparrows. Hallelujah. Also, we want to continue to pray for our, the first family, our president, and those that are affected by the coronavirus, and uh, all our leadership in our country and around the world as well, that they'll find Jesus as well. Amen? Yes, amen. Ain't nobody too big or too little don't need Jesus. Everybody amen. needs the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And also we want to pray for all those that are praying for us and for this ministry and our outreaches. And if you would like to help to do that, we have a PayPal account. Help us to do that by giving a love gift to this ministry. If you go to another church, and we know that a lot of you do, could we stay in touch with you by internet? But uh, we're not asking for your tithes and offerings. That belongs to your home church. But if you'd like to send a love gift, we would appreciate that because we'll use it for the glory of God. And we'll use it to help the poor and the needy and to meet those needs and keep things running for that. We have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of output, and uh, so we could use all the help we can get, and we want to thank you in advance for that. Also, don't forget to hit that share button before we uh, bring the word, because a lot of you are, and uh, we're getting a lot of views more and more every week, so we're grateful for that, and we're grateful for you. And uh, this benefits uh, everybody when they hear the word of God, not just you, but for you that share with someone else and they receive Christ or if they are Christians be encouraged be strengthened iron sharpens iron we help one another we love one another the Bible says care share and bear one another's burdens amen? amen praise the Lord now for the message today I titled that uh, listen I am God I am the Lord and the I change not I'm the Lord and I change not you know what that means to me? That God, like Jesus said, they talked about Jesus. I believe it's Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. He says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He changes not. Amen? And all through the Old Testament, all through the New Testament, and time to come, he doesn't change. He still loves. Amen? He still brings salvation. He still brings healing to our body, mind, souls, and spirit when we yield them to him, when we surrender. He still loves to see people, the captives, set free. Amen. Why? Because he does the same thing he did when he was walking on the earth. Hallelujah. The same thing. When he sees pain, when he sees sorrow, when he sees hurting, when they come to him, they would come to him. He never turned anybody away. And even those that would come to him and not follow him afterwards. When we see that all through the scripture. Because men's hearts are hardened, deceitful, wicked, above all things who can know it but God. When he cleansed the ten lepers, only one came back to give him thanks and praise. But he never changed. What did he do? He cleaned all ten of them. Do you imagine being brand with leprosy? You couldn't be in civilization. You had to be in a little place all by yourself. Your whole body falling apart, deteriorating before your own eyes. Had to run through the streets saying, I'm a leper, I'm a leper. So they would stay away from you. And here comes Jesus. Touches them. Says, be clean. And they were clean. My Lord, who wouldn't fall down and worship him? Who wouldn't be thankful? Who would be? But yet nine went their way. Ooh, we're clean. And they just went right back to their old lifestyle. Now, a lot of people do that today in the same way. But are you that one that would come back to thank him and praise him and then follow him? 
live for him. We were all lepers in one way or another. Amen. Sin was deteriorating our bodies, our minds, our souls, our very flesh, eating at us. But when we came to Jesus, he said, be thou clean. Hallelujah. Give him some praise in the house. Clean it up. Wash our sins away. Hallelujah. Yes, and I'm God and I change not. Glory be to God. Yeah, he's still God, even in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Yes. Even in the midst of troubled times. Yes. I'm going to show you some of that in God's word today. That no matter what you're going through, and this is for everybody, whether you're a Christian or not, we can all receive something from the word of God. We just come with an open heart. Amen. And I don't care what you're going through. Even if you're not being touched by this pandemic, you're being touched by something. Satan will make sure of that. Maybe you're sick in body. Maybe you're troubled and tormented in your mind. Maybe your finances have dried up. You don't know what you're going to do next. Cupboards are bare. God is still God. He changes not. He said, I will provide. I will save. I will heal. I will deliver. I still set the captives free because I change not. That's what God wants to do if we'll let him, if we'll trust him, if we'll believe him, if we'll yield ourselves to him. I said, I, he said, I've never, ever seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging for bread. That's because he changes not. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what we're going through, in spite of all the pain that we all suffer, one way or another, all the suffering, all the loss, all the brokenness that goes on in this world, and even in our little world, our life, God is still God. Amen. And if you hang in there to the end, because he said, those that endure to the end shall not only be saved, they get the reward, they get the blessing, for not just for a little time, but for all eternity. Amen. It's worth every bit of it. Amen. It's worth all the pain, the suffering, the lack. Because he paid the ultimate price. Hallelujah. Why? Because he's a way maker. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's a way maker. And we can find that verse if you're looking for it. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, it says, For I am the Lord, and I change not. Amen. Oh, remind yourself of that. Put it on your refrigerator. Put it somewhere where you can see it all the time. When the devil comes up against you with all his lies and them fiery darts. Say, oh no, oh no, my God changes not. He still loves me. He still cares. And he will meet my needs. He will provide. If it ain't today, it'll be tomorrow. If it ain't tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. But he's going to provide. He makes a way. Why? Because he's a way maker. Amen. How many I love when I talk about the Lord? He's a way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. Where it's impossible with man. The Bible says it is impossible with man, but all things are possible with God. Why? Amen. Because he doesn't change. Thank you, He's still powerful. Amen. Satan found that, that out the hard way when he tried to dethrone him. Mm -hmm. He got dethroned. Amen. One of the most powerful angels in heaven. He had a powerful position. The Bible said he was so beautiful. And that's where pride came in. Mmm. Mm. He thought he was going to be God. He said, I've got to be God. I like all this praise. <laughs> he stood behind God's throne. And as the angels were praising him, he, he got hooked on it himself. <laughs> he said, I, I'm enjoying this. I, I think I need this praise. Mm -hmm. That's why he likes to be worshipped today. That's why we got devil worshippers. Come on, somebody. Amen. They can worship the devil all they want because that's a dead-end street because the devil, the Antichrist, the false prophet, they're all going to end up in the lake of fire Amen. and all Amen. the nations that don't love and hate the Lord. If you hate the Lord, you're in trouble. That's right. that's right. Yeah. Mm, he made a way. Glory be to God. God didn't stop being God just because Satan tricked Adam and Eve. God always has another plan. Amen. So that plan didn't work out. God wanted them to live in the garden forever. Running around naked. Didn't even know it because there was no sin. There was no shame in being naked. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Then Satan comes along and whispers in Eve's ear. Oh. And he, so then he started spreading his lies. 
Oh, God don't want you to eat that, eat that forbidden fruit because he knows the day you eat that tree or not, your, your eyes will be open. You'll be like God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's slick, all right. He's still lying. And people are still buying his lies. Amen. But that doesn't stop God from being God, does it? God said in his word, oh, about Jesus. Jesus, a seed is coming. Jesus. And he's going to bruise Satan's head. And Satan will bruise his heel. In other words, he'll fight back a little bit. He's gonna have him, he's gonna have all kinds of problems. He's gonna have, he's even gonna have him crucified. But God still had a plan. Amen. And that plan Praise was God. to save us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To save us through that crucifixion. Ah, yes. uh, you can't outwit God. Amen. No. Satan found that out the hard way. He's been trying to get even with God ever since. Mm -hmm. That's a losing battle. Yes. Yes. How many's on the Lord's side? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, because then he's on your side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You're a winner no matter what. As long as you stay with Jesus, you can't lose. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, the devil will tell you you're a loser. He's been telling you that all your life. Mm -hmm. So Amen. turn it around and say, no, you're the loser. That's right. <laughs> you're the one that lost. Lost in heaven, you're going to lose on earth, and you're going to lose again and get thrown into the lake. Oh, he'll right. run. He'll run. Amen. How can I get rid of this devil? Remind, when he reminds you of your past, you remind him of his future. That's right. His future is in hell. God didn't stop being God when Pharaoh captured and took prisoner and made slaves out of all God's people. God still had a plan. It didn't look good, did it? It didn't look. Hundreds of years, 400 years they were in captivity. Imagine that. And God still had a plan. That's why it's called long suffering. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we suffer long. Mm -hmm. But if we go through that suffering yes. and not complain, not murmur, mm -hmm. keep trusting God, mm -hmm. he turns that suffering in to worship in him, praising him. He turns that into a miracle. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise and in the end, we win, just like the Israelites did. They were poor, dirt poor. They were slave. And when God's timing came, ah, oh, timing is everything. Yes. When God's timing came and set them free, they were the richest people on the planet Earth. They took all the silver, all the gold, all everything Egypt had, and took it with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, you just got to make sure you do the right thing when you get the silver, the gold, the blessings. That's right. And you don't make a golden calf. That's Amen. right. Because sometimes they forgot God in the wilderness. Where's that Moses? Where's he at? He went up on that hill, man. We ain't seen him for a month. Where's he at? Yeah, we say, well, we're getting weary. We're getting, we're getting weary and well doing. Well, we don't want to wait no more. It sound familiar? We don't want to wait. I want what I want from God now. If God don't give it to me, we're gonna make our own God. I'm going back to the God I used to serve: drugs, alcohol, pornography, whatever. Many gods out there. Amen. They broke God's heart. And he still loved them. Still cared for them. Gave them another chance. And what did they do with that chance? They blew it again. Human nature. Doesn't it stink? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul said, crucify the flesh so it don't crucify you. Come on. Right. But God had a plan and he set the captives free. Glory be to God. God didn't stop being God when that pit bull with lipstick called Jezebel, come on, That's right. was, after, was after Elijah the prophet wanted to kill him. Mm. Ooh, what did God do? God delivered him. Not only did he deliver him, he gave him a ride that he'll never forget. Ooh, that chariot of horses and fire. Glory be to God. Horses and a chariot on fire. Can you imagine that? Yeah, you're going to get a ride similar to that pretty soon when the rapture takes place. Amen. 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 If we're still here when the rapture takes place, glory be to God. What a ride. Huh? I don't know if it'll be a taxi. Or I don't know if it'll be a, you know, a limousine. I don't know if it's going to be fiery chariots. But whatever it is, it's going to work for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Come on Amen. up here. Woo. I'm ready. Yeah. 
Simon said, I got a suitcase already packed. My ticket's punched. I said, man, you don't need no suitcase or a ticket. All you need is the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There ain't no suitcases in heaven. Yeah, you don't need no ticket. No, The password, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Peter will be there to check you in. <laughs> Woo, glory be to God. Amen. Listen, God didn't stop being God when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in a fiery furnace. <gasps> oh, what are we going to do now? Right, no, no. Well, we, they didn't do all that. They, they knew they were going to face, ooh, not just death, one thing to die, but to be burned alive. Mm -hmm. Burned alive. And the king said, bow down, bow down. Doesn't the devil always try to get you to bow down to something other than God? Yeah. Bow down and worship me. And we'll let you live. And then you live with a dirty conscience. Mm. You live with guilt and shame because you bow down to the wrong God. Come on. And they said, no, nah, we ain't bowing down. Even if you put us in that fire, we ain't, we ain't burning down with we're ready to die for our faith, for what we believe. And they put him in there. And you know the story. Woo, God didn't stop being God. Matter of fact, God showed up in the fire. Amen. Yes. Amen. Woo, one that looked like the Son of God. He said, that was yes. Jesus. I believe that was Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Because ain't no angel looks like the Son of God. Amen. Only, ah, glory be to God. Am <laughs> the one getting happy in here today? Come on, man. Love you. Hallelujah. God didn't stop being God when Daniel was thrown into the den of lions either. Imagine that. So I'm trying to let you see, no matter what you go through, God's still God. And if you hang in there, he'll see you through. Say, whether I live or whether I die, I'm going to die or live in faith through Jesus Christ. That's it. Some of you here, including me, has faith. of death. But you're still here. Amen. Now some have gone on before us. That's God's work, God's will, that's his business. But some of us are still here and we look death right in the eye. And God said, no, yeah. Because he's still God. He calls the shots. And that's all right with me. Who else can we trust? Because if I trust some of you as much as you say you love me, you might get mad at me. You might pat on me. Uh -huh. And zap me before you leave. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry, I'd zap some of you too. But anyhow, that's another sermon. Praise the Lord. How many still glad you came? Let me see. Zap or not? Zap or not? Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, listen, you got to laugh. If you don't laugh, you're going to cry. Uh -huh. Amen? God's got good humor. I told you, just look at your neighbor and see if he ain't got good humor. Look, look, hey, don't look at him. <laughs> then you look at him back. <laughs> now, I ain't doing no counseling after the service either. <laughs> All I know is God is a way maker. Amen. He makes a way. Yes. And you're here today because he made a way for you. Yes. Not just to be saved. But for all your needs, glory be to God, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally. Some of you still working on the marriage part. But amen, amen, he's a way maker. Yes, he is. Amen. Just got to yield to him, surrender amen. to him. Yes. Hallelujah. That's it. Ooh, it may not seem like that at times. Come on. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of counseling over the years, and some people say, I don't know where God went. I say, he ain't going nowhere. He's still on the throne, man. Yes, right. You left. You left. You, you messed up. I was trying to blame God. Blame the devil if you're going to blame anybody. Because I know you don't like blaming yourself, but at least blame the devil. <laughs> don't blame God. Mm. It was my wife's fault, they say. My husband's fault. Mm. You ain't even married. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, you got to blame somebody, in other words. you got to blame somebody. Look in the mirror. That's the one you want to blame. But don't blame God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's still God. Even when you hurt. Even when you hurt. Anybody here hurt besides me? Yeah, life, life will throw you a curve every now and then. Boy, I tell you, doesn't it? Everything going along just right all of a sudden. Boom! Get a blowout. What happened there? Change, change things in a minute, can it? One phone call could change things in a minute. One evil, bad report from a doctor changed things in a minute. What do we do? 
Keep pressing on. Keep pressing on. That's what faith does. It presses on. Keeps trusting. Keeps trusting God. Keeps loving the Lord. Keeps waiting for the miracle to take place. Keeps waiting for things to change. Because the God that don't change will change things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what you do. Just wait on him. Don't get weary in well-doing. Don't get weary while you're waiting. Don't get weary while you're going through the dry spell. Don't get weary while you're going through this test. That's what it really means. Don't get weary. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep trusting the Lord. And guess what? You find out there's, oh, oh there it is. There, there, he made a way. He made a way. You'll smile again. You'll laugh again. You'll rejoice again. You'll be blessed again. You'll prosper again. You'll be happy again. Come on. Amen. 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 I know we had trouble with this mic last week, but it's working this week. Come on. Give him some praise in the house. He makes a way. Somebody might say, well, when's it going to be my turn? And I don't want to make light of that. I can give you the truth. The truth is, in this world, everybody gets a turn that loves the Lord, that trusts the Lord. He's not respecter of persons. What he's done for me or others, he'll do for yes. you if you just keep hanging in there, loving him, trusting him, and just keep waiting on him. Amen? Amen. Right. And your turn will come. Yes. Your turn will come. Doesn't it always come? Yes. How many's yes. ever got their turn? Let me see. Come on. Come on. Some of you got back in line twice. <laughs> That's all right. I keep getting in line. I just keep getting in line. Amen. I don't want to cut anybody. I'm not going to cut in the line, but I'm going to get my turn. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? I'm going to get my turn. How? Nemail. There it is. Nemail. That's how you get it. Amen. Talk to him. Talk to the Lord. Tell him what you need. He loves when you talk to him. Loves fellowship. Minister to the Lord yourself. Sing to the Lord. Even I can't sing to the Lord. He loves it. Yes. You don't like it, but he loves it. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> One of these days, he's going to fool y'all and give me a beautiful voice. Uh, Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Beverly gave me two vitamins today. I'm, 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 I'm all turned up today. <laughs> she snuck an extra one in on me. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's all organic, too. <laughs> I don't mess with that junk. No seminars today on help. <laughs> How do I know all this? Because the Bible tells me so. How do I know all this? God wrote it in his word, a love letter to you. But it's more than a love letter. Think about it. It's a letter of the past, the present, and the future. It's a letter of the warnings. There's warnings in God's word. Do's and don'ts. Thou shalt, thou shalt not. Mm -hmm. Amen. He loves us, but he also chastises those who he loves. So we got to make sure that we're doing our best to love him back and serve him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Yes. Amen. 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 Bible says that God is love. Mm, he proved that on Calvary. Yes. Yes. Amen. Lay down his life. Even while we were yet sinners, the Bible said he laid down his life. Yes, he did. The cruelest death you can find. My goodness, how could you not love him? He said he cares for us. I don't know about you, but I just take him at his word. Amen. You know what I mean? I, I found out he's not respected of person, so that means me too. Found out that he said God loves the world. I'm part of the world. That's right. Amen? Amen. He bled for everybody that would receive him. I received him. Amen. So why shouldn't I believe the rest? Amen. That's right. Amen. That he wants to bless me. He said he wants you to be the head, not the tail. Amen. Above only, not beneath. Come on. Amen. That's right. You either believe it or you don't. We'll get to that in a minute. But he said he's love, he cares, and he's just. <laughs> he's a just God. He can't do nothing wrong. He don't make mistakes. He don't, he don't make he don't come up short. He don't sit there and say, now what am I gonna do about this one? Boy, look at this. Oh my, look at that world. What a mess. Oh, what are we gonna do, Father? No, he already knew. He knew before the uh, oh, Lord, he, yes. knew. he knew before the foundation of the earth what was going to happen. Yes. It's all planned out from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Nothing escapes God. And not your need either. 
That's your need either. Maybe say, but I'm waiting on God. No, God's waiting on you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to wait on the Lord for something, but God's waiting on you. Maybe there's something in you that has to change to give you a breakthrough, to give you your miracle. Maybe there's something in you that's been missing. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something in you and your personality, your attitude, whatever it might be that God's been dealing with you with for days, weeks, months, maybe even years. They say, when are you going to get this right? When are you going to adjust this so that I can bless you to the fullest? Hmm? When? When? They're waiting on God. And we know that God is faithful. We're not always faithful, are we? God is faithful in all things, all the time. How do I know that? Again, the Bible tells me. So look, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. Know this. No, God wants you to know this. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, talking to the people of God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant promises and mercy. With who? With who? With them that love him. Oh, Lord have mercy. And keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Can you, can you, can we break that down just a little bit? Just think about it. First, he wants you to know that God is faithful. He's your God. The faithful God. Ooh, what's his name? He has many names. One of them is faithful. Yes. You can call him faithful. I just hope you believe and know that he is faithful. Amen. Which keepeth covenant or keepeth promises and mercy. It's because of his promises and the mercy, amen, yes. that we receive. Then he says, with who? who, who who's he doing? With them that love him. Can't you got to capture that. When you love him, you can claim the promises because he loves you. And mercy on top of love, but also not just love him and keep his commandments, keep his word. We read it, we apply it, we live it because we believe it. When we come up short, we repent and we go at it again. We fall down, we get up. We make a mistake, we move on. That's where the blood comes in. That's where repentance comes in. Because there's nobody perfect on planet Earth. The one who was is now sitting at the right hand of God Almighty. The only one that ever walked the earth perfect was Jesus. Amen. The rest of us are living in a fallen world. That's not in the license to sin. But the Bible says when we do sin, hallelujah, We've got Jesus, the mediator between man and God, making intercession for us. Here's our humble prayer, amen, of repentance. Forgives us, covers us with the blood. Amen, we've got to move on and hope we don't leave a wake of disaster in, behind us. That's why sometimes we have to apologize to others that we hurt. I know that's hard sometimes, it ain't easy. But we need to humble ourselves. And apologize to those that were on the other end of our anger, our sin, our mistake, our faults, our failures. And hopefully they show us mercy back so that they can receive it one day too. Because, you know, when you look at people, see, I, I know a lot of times, even Christians, mostly Christians, they're good for shooting their wounded. They are. See, see, because it, 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 it takes more energy to carry them. It takes more energy to work with them. So let's just shoot them. Bam! You're going to heaven and don't worry about it. No burden, no burden, no burden. Yeah, they shoot their wounded. Gossip about one another, in other words. Picked at one another. Isn't it the truth? Find fault with one another. The Bible warned us of that. The root of bitterness. And jealousy and envy and strife and malice. Paul said, these things should not ought to be, my brother. Amen. Who who goes to war and shoot, shoots their own soldiers? Who goes to war and gets in a foxhole with somebody and shoots their, their, their partner? Are you going to stay awake 24 hours or what? No, you trade off. 
That's the same thing spiritually. At least that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Amen? Amen. If we spend as much time trying to love one another as we try to tear each other down in the body of Christ, ooh, what an army we'd have, huh? Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Move on. I can charge extra for that. That was just a little side note. Praise the Lord. God's still God when we have a need. God's still God when we're sick. Amen. He's still the great physician. He's still the healer. He's still there when we're, mm, when we see a widow. You pray for the widow. God's there for the widow. God's there for the orphans. That's what he said. He's there for all of them. He's there for the poor, the needy, the hurting, the bruised. He sees those that are desperate. He sees those that are praying, God, help me. I'm depressed. God, help me. Get me out of this mess. God, help me. My heart's broken. God, help me. I'm in pain. He sees all of that. That's right. And he wants to deliver. He wants to bless. He wants to heal. He wants to save. Amen. It's the other guy. Amen. The devil that comes to rob, kill, and destroy. He's the one that comes to bring sickness and disease and strife among family members and hatred and violence. Think about that the next time. It ain't just coming from a person. Mm. Devil uses a person. It's like God uses a person. Yes. <clears throat> for good or bad. For better or worse. You need to recognize that. So don't pray against just the person. Pray against the spirit that's using that person. Because mm. yeah. mm. we can write people off in a minute. But that's just human nature again. That's why we got to die to that human nature yes. and live in the supernatural. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why, you know, most of the time I'm trying to convince people to love their brethren. I spend a lot of time doing it. People come to me, yeah, but you don't know about those. They get on my last living nerve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, I got to be careful not to say, I hate that person. I've heard that. So who? What? Hate them. You're only, you're only allowed to hate one person. One person, that's a devil. You can't hurt, you can't hate nobody else. I don't care what they've done to you. They're made in the image of God. You might not like them. You might not like what they say, what they do, how they act. But you can't hate them. If you want to see Jesus. Mm, but God is there for everybody. Amen. God is still God. Not only when in the good times, but he's God in the bad times. Yes. <laughs> Am I the only one to know that? Amen. Amen. Yes. No, he's brought you through some really bad times, I'm sure. Yes. You realize you're still standing. Listen, amen. when you go out to war, amen, you, you expect a war. You expect to, to have a battle. Amen. And hopefully when the dust settles, you're still standing. Amen. Whether it's physical or spiritual. Amen. When the Israelites went out to war, some of them died. That's what war does. But when the dust settled, there was many standing. Just got to make sure that you're right with the Lord. Amen? Amen. Ooh, God doesn't stop being God just because we fall on troubled times. He's more God then than ever. He's the one that got you through the troubled times. Amen. I know it works for me that way. Amen? Amen. Amen. No, we're not promised a, a bed of roses. We're not promised a rainbow uh, every day. There's hard times. The Bible said all the days of men are filled with evil. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them, them all. All. That's right. all of them. That's right. Think about that. Yes. When hard times come, when persecution, trials, tests, tribulations come, and they do, remember those verses. We're not exempt from that. That's what makes us grow. That's what makes us strong. That's what makes us courageous. That's what makes us brave. That's what makes us bold. Is those testing times. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ooh, he's as much God in the valley as he is on the mountaintop. Amen. Amen. More, more so. When he's up there, we're just rejoicing and thanking him for getting us up there. But we need him more so in the valleys. Amen. Where them dark shadows are. Yes. Mm. And the enemy's attacking us and we're relentless. And that's when he grabs your hand. He said, I saw you through the last one. I'll see you through this valley as well. Amen. This one ain't no different to me than the other one. It's different to you. 
It might look bigger to you, but to God it's all the same. That's right. Because he made it all. And he's in control of it all. It really comes down to, I could say, name, name all this and sum it up with one word. Trust. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, I hear that word from the Holy Spirit so often. Trust me. Trust, don't worry about it. Devil's going to try to make it look worse than it is. Mm -hmm. Devil's going to make paint it real ugly. Mm -hmm. yes. Keep trusting me. Keep saying, how long have you been serving me? Uh, 47 years this month, Lord. Keep trusting me. <laughs> 47. Is there any question? I mean, I brought you this far. You go, uh, was I God from the very beginning? Am I, was I God in the middle of that? Well, uh, I'm still God today. That's right. And I share that with you. Just keep trusting him. And he'll keep seeing you through. Until one day the taxi shows up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And fiery chariot or whatever it is. Or just the trump. Woo, that blast and says, come on up yonder. Amen. That's southern for come on up here. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Try to please everybody, don't we? We got people listening down south, man. Come on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is good everywhere. Yes. Amen. People from other countries. I can't speak in your language, but I well, well, I can. But listen, I can. There is a universal word. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Yes. Right. When I preach in other countries, they all move that man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. He's still God. Amen. When we have lack. As much as when we have plenty. Come on, man. Paul learned that. So I've learned to be content no matter what phase or state I'm in. Amen. Oh, if we can ever get to that place, right? Mm, my Lord, let's move on, let's move on. He's still God when you're weak as much as he is when you're strong. He's still God, amen, a million times, yes. God doesn't stop being God because of our problems, in other words. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Psalms chapter 84, verse 11. The Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Now that's the word of God. Yes. Yes. God ain't going to hold nothing back that's good for you if you walk upright for him. Amen? Amen. Amen. I know a lot of you here, you're blessed. Amen. I don't know whether you know it or not, but you're blessed. To be here alone, you're blessed. That's right. Amen. To be alive, you're blessed. Because the Bible said the grave can't praise them. That's, right. That's why we need to praise them now. That's why we praise them around here a lot. Amen. When we hit the grave before the rapture comes, we ain't going to be able to praise them. I might try. You might, if that ground starts shaking, you'll go to the he, He's still trying to praise the Lord. Come on. Ooh. There's another sermon about that, but I'll let that slide right now. <laughs> it says that God can give grace, not only in life, but glory for all eternity. Amen? Amen. And he does shield his people. He shields his own. He takes care of his own. He encourages them all through troubled times, and he protects us. Hallelujah. Yes. You must either listen. This is what we're coming down to. You either love him or you don't. Mm -hmm. You either trust him or you don't. You believe him or you don't. You serve him or you don't. But if you're a true believer, we do all the above because of those things. Because of those things. We can all learn from the word of God. Not only how to live, but also how to die. Amen. We die and we trust him by faith. We trust him in faith. Amen. The Bible tells us that he teaches us how to how to talk, how to walk, how to speak, how to live, how to look, how to do everything. It's all right here because he loves us so much. Amen. I mean, listen, he could have gave us half a book. He could have gave, we, 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 we'd be doing our own thing. Half stepping, just a little bit of this. No, he gave it all to us. Yes, he did. That's right. He didn't hold, hold anything back. There's, this way there's no excuse on that day. That's right. Can you imagine people that don't know the Lord are backslidden and stand for him on judgment day? No excuse. They'll try everything, just like the man in hell. Remember Luke chapter 16, yes. when he was in hell, the rich man, and he had a conversation with the Lord. Hmm? 
And God said, no, no, you had your chances. Now there's a big gulf fix between me and you. You can't come to Lazarus, and Lazarus can't come to you. You had your, now today's the day of salvation. We have to receive it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 10. Talking about me here, but don't kid yourself. He's talking about you too. What we used to be. He found him, that's us, in the desert land and in a waste wilderness. He led him about and he instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Talking about Israel, really, but he's talking about us too. Listen, tell me that God still ain't God. His eyes on the sparrow, his eyes on you. Yes. You are the apple of his eye when you love him and trust him. Amen? Amen. How can we deny it? How can we deny it? It's something that you know that you have inside of you. Because how many times have we tried to change before we knew Jesus? We didn't even like ourselves. We knew we needed to change. Amen. No matter how many times, 1,000 times, 10,000 times, you keep going back. Like the Bible says, the dog... Come on, to the vomit, the pig, to the mud. We keep going back yes. until Jesus gets us, yes. cleans us up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we don't, we can't deny it because we've experienced it. Hallelujah. I can't wait to see him face to face. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter one hundred seven, verse nine. We're coming in for a landing. For he satisfieth all the longing soul. He filleth the hungry soul. With goodness. Mm, think about that. He satisfies. The long, you got to long for him. You got to want it so bad that you long for it. He filleth a hungry soul. That's what I'm talking about. You got a soul half filled. What's that feeling? You're half complete. You're half incomplete. I wonder why he walk around half miserable. But if you let him, you know, fill your whole soul. My wife used to sing a song when we evangelized in different countries and different places around the country. She used to sing a song at the end of our message for our altar call. Only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Oh, it's a beautiful song. And people would come. People would come. The altars would be filled. Why? Because they realize that only Jesus. That's what it's talking about here. Yes. Only Jesus can satisfy your longing, hungry soul. Only Jesus. Yes. It's true. It was true then when you sang it. It's true today. Because he's the same yesterday, today. Say, I'm God and I change not. Amen? Amen. Oh, precious Lord, precious Lord. I don't want to quit, but I have to. We all have a choice. And whether we believe, we trust him or not, to believe whether he's God still or not, amen. Some believe that he's not God. Some don't believe in God at all. Some believe that, you know, he is, but they don't trust him. They don't live for him. That's our choice. That's why he said, choose ye this day whom you will serve. You believe me? The Lord said, then trust me and follow me. If you think the world is God, Baal is God, follow him. But we know who God is. Hope you know, watching by internet. If you don't, let me tell you, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Stand with me as we close. Last one. And still, God knows our hearts. Psalm chapter 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots, some in horses. In other words, the things of the world are their own strength, their own ways. That's the choice. But for the believer, he says, we believe in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. We believe in the name of the Lord our God. Thank you, Jesus. But again, the true believer, we triumph because of him. Amen. We're victorious because of him. Yes. 
We have eternal life because of him. Because why? We have a revelation knowledge of him. And therefore, because of that, we have a relationship with him. Give him some praise for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Question is, do you have a relationship with him? I'm not talking about knowing about God. I'm talking about knowing him personally. A personal relationship. And I'll close with this. It is said that the lion is the king of the jungle. They fear no one. They fear nothing. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1, The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. The Bible says that Satan is like a roaring lion. Like a roaring lion. Bible also says Jesus is the line of the tribe of Judah. Yes. And we're supposed to be as bold as a line. Christ is the king, uh, not just a jungle, but the king of kings. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. And he has on his vesture or his mantle, his outer garment, in other words, and on his thigh, a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Glory be to God. Christ is that conquering king, friends. Do you know? Do you know? So there's no greater title because there's no greater king. He's the king of kings. And I want to know if you know him as such. Mm. Do you know him as such? If you do, happy are ye. If you don't, you'll split hell wide open if you die without Christ. But he said, I get no pleasure out of the death of the wicked, but that the wicked would repent and come to me. That's what God wants to do. Because he changes not, he still wants to save. Will you let him save you today? Let's pray this prayer of salvation, rededication, commitment. To the Lord. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I'm coming in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I, ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord, to forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. Come, into my heart. Come into my heart. Into my life. Into my life. Save, my soul. Save my soul. And make me whole. And make me whole. I, accept you I accept you as my Savior. As, my Savior. as the King of kings. As the King of and kings. the Lord of lords. Lord Thank, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For hearing my prayer. For hearing my prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For answering my prayer. For answering my prayer. Keep me. Keep me. In thy hand. In thy hand. No man. No man. No devil. No devil. Can pluck me out. Can pluck me out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise him. In the heart of the Lord.